The beast of the East is officially back. That's the message the Bulls hope the rest of the NBA obtained from Tuesday night's first place showdown with Larry Bird and in Indiana. Playing perhaps their best offensive game of the year. Michael Jeffrey Jordan and company remained perfect since the All-Star break and regained the lead in the division and the conference standings. Now, the next step. Time for the Bulls to separate themselves from the pack and it can begin tonight at the Sky Dome in Toronto. You're thinking, yeah, no problem. But let me remind you, this struggling in the state of Flux franchise, though a shadow of its former self, beat the world champions in each of the last two years north of the border. Will lightning strike for a third time? Not if the beast of the East comes ready to play. The uh, Sky Dome, Toronto, Canada. By the way, you longtime uh, devotees of the uh, World Wrestling Federation know the uh, Beast of the East is actually. They've played three more ball games than Indiana and have won all three of them. Miami there at third. We'll see how that trade affects them. The Ike Austin for Brent Berry, New Jersey. And then let's take a look at what the Raptors have done now. They have made some huge moves and have revamped everything. They got Kenny Anderson, Gary Trent. Alvin Williams, two first rounds and a second round and cash, which basically paid off Kenny Anderson's contract. And Daryl Walker, their uh, head coach, resigned. Butch Carter uh, is their now head coach. And now, here's what Trailblazers got. Damon Stoudemire, obviously the key to the trade. Walt Williams, a guy that can play. And Carlos Rogers, who's been a bit of a disappointment. But they weren't done. Yet their head coach, Butch Carter, there he is. The interim head coach. In welcoming the members of the board of directors for the Toronto Maple Leafs, the new owners of the Toronto Raptors. Phil Jackson talking to his team. Mr. Larry Tannenbaum. Mr. Robert Kirchner. Mr. Don McIntyre. Congratulations, Tom Rusper, uh, getting a start here. You're welcome, all of you. Struggling and we hope you enjoy this nice game between the rounds. Around. Yep. Uh, David Stoudemire now gone. He may get a real chance to show what he can do. Bulls take their time coming out. Cover up your glass of water. I see him loading up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get it done. Let's get the uh, win number 40. Wait, that does. <laughs> How about our starting lineups for the ball game this evening? Brought to you by Montgomery Wards. For the Bulls, Pippen and Coop coach. Luke's in the middle. Ron Harper and Michael Jordan in the backcourt. For Toronto, Wallace and Camby. Oliver Miller in the middle. Sean Respert and uh, Doug Christie in the backcourt. MJ turns and looks, finds Tony just inside the three point strike, and Tony hits from the right side. Wallace pops out. He started with the Knicks, Wallace did. First rounder that they liked right away, and then he's moving around. But Christie, very tight on Michael, goes into the corner. Scotty Pippen for three, and that's 50 bucks that goes to Charitables from Carrex, Muffler and Bright. Fresh 24 on the shot clock. Can be in for the jam. 8 6 Bulls with the lead. Michael comes underneath, had it knocked away by Candy. Had it knocked away, finds Tony Kukoc. Nice ball movement inside. Harp got it, and he's fouled. This is usually like 10. Into the game for the Raptors, placing Sean Respert. Number Sean Respert comes out, Tracy McGrady comes in. Another guy that made the jump lead. Into the corner. Scotty for another three. He's hit three threes from the right side in this ball game. That's another fifty dollars that goes to charitable from Carrick. So they've got to take turns going down trying to post up a guy. Wallace with the turnaround jumper. John Wallace has played very well for the start. Four of Jay pushes it up the floor. He's got Harp on the right side. Goes to Tony. Back to oh. Scotty. Block. Pippen headed blocked again by Camby. And it'll go out of bounds. I think Tony could have shot that time. Yeah. It would have been a lot easier. Randy in. He says he's putting the pickpocket in. <laughs> Jumper from the right side is good for Tracy McGrady. So the rookie comes in. Got a rebound. And 
Oliver Miller comes back in. Marcus Camby will sit. Oliver Miller, he's made his presence felt on defense. Ba -ba boom <laughs> in to play a team that has got a bunch of different players, uh, new players on. He hasn't missed yet. Wow. No. That point. It has changed a little bit. Wallace. Oh, beautiful move, and he got fouled. Rebound tapped out. And the Raptors with a chance to tie here. Oh, McGrady got fouled, and Scotty held him up. My goodness. The block at Scotty. Scotty carrying him away. He said, look at it. I was way out, he said, but Scotty's going to get the foul. Take a look and we'll see if we can see where his first. Scotty was out in front. He was out in front. You, you see the dots on the. Uh, he's carrying him. A good job by Scotty to make sure the kid doesn't get hurt. But Scotty was out in front of that broken area. But. Be careful, right? That's a good point. I thought he was going to get fouled on a play and they let it go. Christie, long three hits. The cut on Michael's hip. Luke in the lane, puts it up and in. The open man, and Scotty was open. Michael was open as well. Hey, high percentage, Mike. I like that. Wraps all the way around. Ball's great move. Nothing. Tony goes inside for Luke. You heard Bill say, go Luke. That was almost caught. In fact, I think Camby could have caught that. Rex muffler and break. 62-46, Bulls with the lead. Christie goes down and got it. He's fouled. Miller knocked it away. Scotty came back up with it. Luke baseline jumper. He is a scoring machine tonight. What you lost? I'm here to see Michael, man. It tells you the world's biggest uh, Bulls fan. Can you substantiate that rumor? It would have to be myself. <laughs> and why are you here? I'm making a film uh, called Pushing Ten up here, and uh, I found out the Bulls are in town, so I sold myself for these seats. And people are afraid of this. That's John Cusick. Thanks for talking to us. Guys, back to you. He is a big Bulls fan. Across the floor, Scotty in the corner. 4-3, Scotty Pippen for a trail. There, Scotty was way out in front of everybody else. Tony, no look to Dennis yeah. for the way in. Dennis, ball just, ball. Dennis just hanging in the corner. Uh, picks up. Looks for it, didn't find anything. MJ on top for three. Tough trap up in the air. Grady, spin move in the lane, puts it in. Tracy McGrady. MJ goes inside. Tony gives it back to him, and Michael hits again. Now for Dennis. MJ with the jump. Oh, yeah. Now he's been on automatic since this half started. Down low for Luke. Tip for three hits from the left side. Skipping on Sunday from the Pistons oh. against. I know we saw Reggie Miller. What was he, seven for nine? Did great. <laughs> I love the ice pack. <laughs> that looked good. It's a good look for him. That was an elbow just caught hard. Now, would that be your term of chilling, John? Yeah. Makes the move, starts to drive. Back to Burrell for three. Scott Burrell. Three point range. D. Brown with a fadeaway jumper hits. D. Brown over Randy Brown. Yes. Doug Bushman missed it. Roy Rogers spins, jump hook, and got his own rebound and slammed it. Joe Fine with a baseline jumper. Big Joe, Joe with the buck plays and all that stuff. Borella, quick three from the corner, gives away $50 more. 
a towel for the heavyweight fight that was bullshit. Can beat him in every different way here. Back chain goes on top for Restrick from 15. Tracy McGrady. Doug Bushley, the only bull yet to score. This could take Say that again. Oh. Say that again. Yeah, there it is. Three. It's a three. And three. John, it's another $50 yeah. that goes to charitables from Carix. Mm -hmm. Bill <laughs> Weston with a rebound. Good. Randy Brown from 17. Nope. Oh, tapped in by Burrell. He just tried to keep the ball alive, slapped it up and in. He's got uh, 16. <laughs> Brady with the drop puts it in. Joe Klein will take that baseline jumper and hit. Big Joe with six points. 123 to 86 Bulls with the lead. 37 point lead for the Bulls. Wow. D. Brown takes the jumper. This could do it. 60 rebounds. That's it. The Chicago Bulls have defeated the Ladies Toronto Raptors here. Score, Chicago Bulls, 123, or Toronto Raptors, 123 to 86. Bulls and now 40 and 15, and John continue to play well on the road. Absolutely, they moved the record up uh, 15 and 13.